Tesla battery manufacturer CATL. They supply more batteries to Tesla than any other company. They've just revealed a battery pack. It's a lithium ion phosphate battery that they say that they will warranty for 1.5 million kilometers. This is a million mile battery. Now we know that there's a lot of lithium ion phosphate batteries already out there that are approaching a million kilometers, but this is different. I mean, a company coming out and saying they'll warranty a battery to do one and a half million kilometers. I mean, would you really want to get a gasoline powered car if this is what you could buy, considering it also has extremely fast charging? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Great to see you. It is in this kind of an amazing point in human history. We're seeing so many different cool new technologies coming out. CATL, the biggest battery company in the world. They are the company who General Motors now going to license their technology. I've been begging General Motors to do this, to, to keep them alive, keep them alive for you US fans. Uh, General Motors finally bit the bullet and decided, yes, 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 all right, all right, Electric Viking, finally, yeah, all right, we'll do it, all right. No, not really, but yeah, they did decide to do it. And they will build uh, a factory in the US now licensing CATL's technology. So now we've got Tesla, Ford, and General Motors all will use CATL technology to man manufacture batteries in the US over the next, well, very soon. All of them are wanting to do it as fast as they possibly can. What does that mean? Well, it means that batteries like this with 1.5 million kilometers lifespan, they're gonna be the EVs that you're gonna be able to buy. I mean, imagine how much money this is gonna save people. Imagine if you just drive your car for say, I don't know, 400,000 miles, you go, oh, I'm sick of it now. What will I do? Oh yeah, I'll just use that, I'll just use that battery to power my house. Now, if you have one battery to power your house, that's like having, what, say four Tesla power walls? That's pretty damn cool, right? CATL has announced that they have just, well, basically they're gonna be putting these batteries in buses to begin with. So they have a contract now with bus maker Zengzhu Yong Bus Co Limited, anyway, to install these batteries. So the battery has 1.5 million kilometers of life, according to CATL, and it will be able to cater to different market segments, buses, light trucks, heavy trucks, um, anything you can think of. It, it's pretty much suitable for them all. It's a lithium ion phosphate battery, and apparently it should also have charging around 350 kilowatt charging speeds. Of course, you need the right architecture, the right system for that. But yeah, that's very, very fast charging. It will have zero degradation after 1,000 cycles. So imagine if you did 500 kilometers, right, on each cycle. Uh, you're talking, even after 50,000 kilometers of driving, it's gonna have zero degradation. That's what CATL is saying zero degree normally that's when you get the degradation like normally the first hundred thousand kilometers the first sixty thousand miles that's when you might see five six seven percent battery degradation uh, catl is saying no no, no none of that's going to happen you're going to see none uh, that sounds almost too good to be true but this is catl and they don't lie in addition to its long life battery they've also introduced a power battery with a lifespan um, of 1 million kilometers. So there's two different versions. There's a 1 million kilometer battery and a 1.5 million kilometer battery. So will this battery technology be used in Tesla electric cars? Well, no, I don't think it will be because this technology is a little bit different than the technology Tesla want to use. And I think the technology Tesla want to use is, well, two types of batteries. One of those is the M3P battery. That's basically a lithium ion phosphate battery, which is doped with manganese to give it higher energy density. And that's the kind of battery that Tesla will use for the longer range EVs. Now the shorter range ones, say the Model 2, for example, Tesla will plan to use uh, the lithium ion phosphate battery pack from CATL, which has incredible fast charging. We're up to 500 kilowatt charging. It's, uh, it works just as well in the cold as versus the heat. No degradation in the cold whatsoever seems incredible. This is the first LFP battery to be able to do that. And it also has um, better energy density than the previous LFP batteries Tesla have been using in the Model 3 and the Model Y. So I believe those are the two batteries that Tesla will use. This battery is more for vehicles like buses and trucks who need 
uh, the ability to do you know one and a half million kilometers for a big vehicle you pay a lot of money for this big vehicle you want to keep on using it in commercial applications for as long as you possibly can but the point is this maybe Tesla will say you know what we want to use these in the semi we want to use these in a cyber truck or in a bus anything's possible but whatever they decide to do batteries are going to continue to get better and cheaper and honestly this is such an amazing solution to traffic i mean do you see diesel powered buses and trucks and they're just blowing these incredibly polluting and disgusting black clouds of smoke the sooner we get rid of those the better this is the kind of technology that i think is going to do that thank you for watching